Superman animated movies. I love them, because unlike my dad, they're always there for me. Whatever happens in life, there's always going to be these straight to DVD 70 minute films that range from orgasmic to shooting blanks. And a particular one that has fascinated me is... <laughs> Superman Unbound is inspired by John Jeff's Superman Brainiac, keyword being inspired, because outside of Superman fighting Brainiac and freeing the Kandorians, the tone and emotional frame is totally different. Jonathan Kent doesn't die, and instead of being a pastiche of the Christopher Reeve films, it's f***ing edgy for some reason. Early on, a helicopter full of policemen are killed. <laughs> Brainiac gruesomely shoots a tentacle into someone's face, or loads of people's faces, technically. And Superman argues with Lois loads. It's like everything you do is to protect poor Lois. And what's wrong with that? And has a very cavalier attitude from ripping out robo spines like he's fucking Sub Zero, and often has 80s one liners. Welcome to Earth. Matt Bomer is fine as Superman, but I think George Newbern would have been a more appropriate pick because there's a thickness and strength to his voice while still being warm. Sounds good to me. I'm tired of commissary food. While Boma just kind of sounds cold and like a rude action hero at times. Okay. However, underneath the unnecessary edge is actually a really nice story about learning to live a good life by accepting there's things out of your control. Clark is too afraid to develop his relationship with Lois. She's mad over how overbearing he is in and outside of costume, while also forbidding their relationship from being public. Because deep down inside, Lois wants normal couple stuff. You know what I mean. I want to do regular things with you. You don't want anyone knowing that we're together, but at the same time... You just let me... Ow! You don't let another guy even talk to me? Get a place together, make couple friends, someday, maybe? Lombard, you want that guy hitting on you. You and he are dating. What makes you ask? No, that's not the point. The point is you need to ease up a little. Maybe get married, have kids, I don't know. I thought you liked it when I come to your rescue. When I'm falling out of a plane, rescue me. Getting ogled by the office pig? I can handle. We know you're not with Kent. Oh, it's just, I thought you were asking about Clark because you were. But he gets defensive about her safety. You can't compare what I- Yes, I can. This fear is your problem, not mine. While Kara is too angry to settle down on Earth, she's still fresh off the boat to an extent, still somewhat traumatized. Lived through it once already and I can't do it again. However, Brainiac's arrival to Earth triggers her PTSD, so she's forced to defend her new home finally. While for Clark, confronting Brainiac represents confronting his own need to control things in his life. As Kara's father reveals, Brainiac's archival of people and their cultures requires freezing them so they don't grow. That cyborg core inside him. It wants to know everything there is to know in the galaxy. But that's impossible. Worlds are living things. Their knowledge is always growing and changing. So he has to stop them, turn them into these fake versions instead. So there's a paradox in what he's doing. He's killing their culture just by holding them in place, paralleling what Superman is doing with Lois. You can't control a living thing without destroying what's alive about it. I'm not talking about people knowing I'm with Superman. I'm talking about their knowing I'm with Clark. And what if someday people find out that's the same person? As a result, when Brain X is about to blow up the sun, Kara continues to overcome her trauma by stopping it, and Superman fights Brainiac. He figures out that Brainiac has never left his ship, so he throws him out and uses his own senses to overload him, declaring, All that need to control everything, to know everything, your giant brain can't take it. As he proceeds to taunt and beat him, Brainiac bursts into flames in a super gory, completely unnecessary fashion as Superman stares like a fucking psycho murderer. I have no idea what fucking tone this moment is supposed to be going for, but the part of Superman that wanted to control those around him is gone now after this fight, especially after he had to tap into his love for his home and Lois to break free earlier. What could Earth have possibly offered you? Something you wouldn't know anything about. It's my home. My heart. So the film ends on Clark and Lois reuniting. He gives their first public kiss before acknowledging his own faults as a guy stopping her from being her. I thought I wanted a world where I could always keep you safe. I don't ever want to stop you from being you. So he finally lives life without the fear of uncertainty. He proposes. Marry me. 
Superman Unbound isn't perfect, it's rough, could benefit from a less edgy tone and has a coldness to it which gets in the way of some of the relationships, but there's something here that I really love, which is a journey where Superman's true enemy isn't the physical, but his own fears, where victory comes from him learning to live a bit more human. And that's fucking cool. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? I love you, 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 It's not Batman that makes you worthwhile, it's the other way around. <laughs>